Got one of the tools here that they'll use to save lives here in South Walton, but there's a lot of other tricks, trades, maybe kind of like Batman. They've got their tools to do what they need. So let's learn a little bit about it. Next to me, they've got the jet ski, and David Vaughn is going to fill us in. David, all that you guys have going on in the Gulf. There are situations for each tool, but jet ski, one of the most important. Kind of walk us through here what it is that these guys are going to show us. So you typically have a two man operation. You have your operator and you have your sled operator. So when we approach the victim, we always approach from the left side. The operator and them talking continually to each other. And when he comes in, they swoop in. The operator will grab and hand off the victim. The sled operator, his main job then is to control and communicate so that he can navigate the large surf to get the victim back in. Awesome. All right. And whenever we talk about the Gulf conditions, it's important for us to kind of also mention to people when they could see the ski in the water. At what point or in what rescue maybe are we going to see them launch the ski and need to use that technique? Really? It's uh, again, it's always situation dependent, but in any kind of conditions, the ski is one of our most effective tools. And usually the farther out a victim is, is uh, we've used them on several boat rescues. Um, people who get lost in kayaks, um, they, we can actually tow people in. Um, so it's a, it's a very effective, versatile tool. So we like to use it early and often. Awesome. All right. And then whenever we tell people to at home about those conditions, maybe they think, well, I'd like to be aware of what they are each day that I'm planning to go out to the Gulf and do a little vacationing. Tell us your specific line that people can kind of text in. If they text that, they'll be able to get updates into their phone about the flag system. Yeah, it's an amazing program through our sponsors at the Tourist Development Council. It, you can text the word flag to 31279 and that subscribes you to uh, daily fly conditions and more importantly when conditions get worse and we go to a, a red condition or a double red it texts you the minute that we change it. Awesome. All righty. And then lastly, anything else you want to mention? I know you guys still looking to fill some positions. Is there any more openings for people who may be interested in becoming a lifeguard, getting to use tools like this and also just protect the beach? The hiring push is still full on right now because it takes about two weeks from start to finish to get somebody onboarded, trained up and to where they need to be. And that's if they already come swim ready. We are willing to train people who don't have a swimming background and that takes the process a little bit longer. But yes, we definitely have both full time and part time openings. Perfect. Okay, we will link whatever you need there to be able to apply right on our website. Come on closer here, camera, and take a look at that sunrise, Lauren. It may be cold, but I think that makes it worth it. Absolutely, and you guys are out there braving the cold, and look at that gorgeous star. A chilly one, but it is beautiful. Free